Some of my patients that come in with insomnia or difficulty falling asleep tend to be my worrier thinkers, I can't turn off my brain type people. And there's a lot of really good information that cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia works very well. So if we have an athlete that we're trying to avoid sedating medications or medications, this is a great non-medication way to help with falling asleep. And a couple tip, quick tips that I tell people, you know, it's normal to worry, it's normal to process, that's how we're successful people, but it's not normal to do it right before bed. So I try to have these folks pick a time in their day to sit down and process their thoughts. Take a journal if you need to, jot down the list, but then at night when you're laying there, this is not the time. I thought about it today, I'll think about it tomorrow, and then pick a type of relaxation technique. So some people like to paint a picture in their brain, some people say a word over and over again. Um, I like to direct people to progressive muscle relaxation. So this is a technique, you can Google it, they'll kind of walk you through it, but basically you start at your forehead, um, squeeze the muscles and relax them, and then move to your eyes, squeeze the muscles and relax them, and you go all the way down to your feet. And if you're still awake, go back up to the top. So it basically distracts your brain from thinking and, and just relaxing.